Have you ever wondered how to mine bitcoins? This digital currency, a brainchild of the 21st century, has revolutionized the financial world with its decentralized nature. Bitcoin operates on a peer-to-peer -peer network, free from the control of any central authority. Instead, its ecosystem is maintained by individuals and organizations known as miners. But what does mining bitcoins really entail? Picture a vast digital gold mine where miners solve complex mathematical problems. While it's not about pickaxes and hard hats, it requires a significant amount of computing power. These digital miners play a pivotal role in maintaining the Bitcoin network's integrity, adding new transactions to the blockchain and creating new Bitcoins in the process. So, how does one become a Bitcoin miner? What are the steps involved, the challenges faced, and the potential rewards? These are just a few of the questions we'll be answering. Today we'll take a deep dive into the process of Bitcoin mining. Before diving into the mining process, let's understand some basic terms. Firstly, blockchain. Like a digital ledger, the blockchain records all Bitcoin transactions. What's unique about it is its decentralized nature. Rather than being stored on a single server, copies of the blockchain exist on many computers worldwide, making it nearly impossible to alter or forge. Next, we have hash rate. This term refers to the speed at which a miner's hardware can make calculations. The higher your hash rate, the more likely you are to solve the mathematical problem, claim the next block, and receive the Bitcoin reward. Difficulty is another key term. It's a measure of how hard it is to find a new block compared to the easiest it can ever be. The difficulty adjusts approximately every two weeks to ensure that blocks are added to the blockchain roughly every 10 minutes. Now let's talk about proof of work. This is a system that ties mining capability to computational power. Miners must show proof of their work by solving a complex mathematical problem. If they're successful, they'll add a new block to the blockchain and be rewarded with some Bitcoin. This is known as the mining reward. The mining reward is a mix of newly minted Bitcoins and transaction fees from the block of transactions the miner just verified. It's the miner's incentive for spending their time and energy on verifying transactions and securing the network. But remember, the mining reward halves approximately every four years in an event known as the halving. Understanding these terms is crucial because they form the backbone of the Bitcoin mining process. Each plays a significant role, from the blockchain's transparency and security to the incentives that drive miners to continue their work. With these concepts in mind, we can now delve into the actual process of mining. Now let's uncover the process of Bitcoin mining, step by step. Our journey starts with setting up a Bitcoin wallet. This digital wallet is where you'll store your hard-earned Bitcoins. There are numerous types of wallets available including software wallets that live on your computer or mobile device, and hardware wallets that store your Bitcoins offline. Choose the one that best suits your needs and security concerns. Once you've set up your wallet, you'll be issued a unique Bitcoin address. This is essentially your account number, and you'll need it for every transaction you make. Next, we move on to the mining hardware. In the early days of Bitcoin, you could mine using your regular home computer. But as more people started mining, the difficulty increased, requiring more powerful hardware. Today, specialized hardware called ASICs, short for Application Specific Integrated Circuits, are used for Bitcoin mining. These machines are designed specifically for the task of mining bitcoins, and they do it far more efficiently than any general-purpose computer ever could. Once you've got your hardware, it's time to choose a mining pool. Mining pools are groups of miners who work together to solve the complex mathematical problems that underpin the bitcoin network. By joining a pool, you increase your chances of earning bitcoins. The rewards are shared among the pool members, so while you might earn less per block, you're more likely to earn something rather than nothing. There are many different pools out there, each with its own rules and payment structures. Choose one that aligns with your goals and values. The next step is to install and run the mining software. This software connects your hardware to the Bitcoin network and the mining pool. It also monitors your hardware's performance and provides statistics such as temperature, fan speed, and the rate at which you're solving problems, also known as your hash rate. Once everything is set up, your hardware will start mining bitcoins. It does this by solving complex mathematical problems. When a problem is solved, a new block is added to the bitcoin blockchain, and the miner who solved the problem is rewarded with bitcoins. This is how new bitcoins are created. But mining isn't just about running the software and waiting for the bitcoins to roll in. It's also about strategy. 
You'll need to keep an eye on the market, adjusting your mining strategy as the price of Bitcoin fluctuates. You'll also need to keep a close eye on your costs, especially electricity, as Bitcoin mining can be very power intensive. And that's how you mine Bitcoins. But remember, it's not just about the process, but also about the strategy. Efficient mining is key to maximizing your Bitcoin rewards. Let's delve into some tips to help you mine Bitcoin more efficiently. Firstly, choosing the right mining hardware is crucial. Your mining hardware's computing power, known as hash rate, determines how quickly you can solve the complex mathematical problems that validate Bitcoin transactions. Higher hash rates mean more problems solved and more Bitcoin earned. But remember, powerful hardware often comes with higher price tags and increased energy consumption. Speaking of energy, let's talk about efficiency. Mining Bitcoin can be an energy-intensive process, so it's essential to consider electricity costs when setting up your mining operation. Look for mining hardware with a high hash rate per unit of electricity, often referred to as the energy efficiency ratio. This will allow you to mine more Bitcoin while keeping your energy costs down. Another consideration is your mining software. While hardware is important, your software is what actually connects you to the Bitcoin network and the mining pool. Choose a software that is compatible with your hardware, has a user-friendly interface, and offers helpful features such as performance graphs and overclocking. Keeping up with Bitcoin market trends is also key. The price of Bitcoin can fluctuate wildly, and these changes can significantly impact your potential profits. Stay informed about market conditions and adjust your mining strategy accordingly. You should also consider joining a mining pool. Mining pools are groups of miners who work together to solve blocks, then share the rewards. By joining a pool, you can earn a more consistent return, even though you'll be sharing the rewards with others. Lastly, always be prepared to upgrade. The world of Bitcoin mining is ever-evolving, and staying competitive means regularly updating your hardware and software. Keep these tips in mind, and you're on your way to becoming an efficient Bitcoin miner. Bitcoin mining is a complex and challenging endeavor, but with the right approach, it can also be a rewarding one. Remember, efficiency is the name of the game, and every little improvement can make a big difference to your bottom line. Like any venture, Bitcoin mining comes with its own set of risks and rewards. Let's dive right into it. The most obvious reward of Bitcoin mining is, well, Bitcoin. Every 10 minutes or so, miners solve complex mathematical problems, and the first one to crack it gets a bunch of Bitcoins as a reward. It's like a digital treasure hunt. Plus, you're not just earning Bitcoin, you're also contributing to the robustness and security of the Bitcoin network. But what about the risks? Well, the first is the high upfront cost. You need to invest in powerful hardware to have a shot at being that first miner to solve the problem. And this hardware doesn't come cheap, plus, it consumes a lot of energy, which can lead to high electricity bills. Another risk is the volatility of Bitcoin. Its value can skyrocket one day and plunge the next. This can be a double-edged sword. While it could mean huge profits if the value goes up, it could also mean significant losses if it goes down. And then there's the fact that the difficulty of mining increases over time. As more people join the network, the mathematical problems become harder to solve. This means you'll need constant upgrades to your hardware to stay competitive. Weigh these risks and rewards carefully before you dive into the world of Bitcoin mining. So, there you have it, the process of Bitcoin mining in a nutshell. We've journeyed from the rudimentary understanding of Bitcoin and its mining to the intricate step-by-step -step process of mining. We've explored clever tips to make your mining venture more efficient and delved into the potential risks and rewards that come with it. It's a thrilling ride, filled with challenges and opportunities. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about Bitcoin mining, the better equipped you'll be to navigate this exciting digital frontier.